Hey guys, how's it going? Getting started a little bit early today. Uh, just so you know, in case it happens again, because I'm not 100% sure it won't, uh, when I got home, my wife informed me that our internet was out. And luckily, uh, it came back up. We, we were able to get back in. But just in case the internet drops, uh, you've been forewarned <laughs> that that is a possibility. I'm not saying that it will happen, but it, you know, you never can tell. So, let me get this up and running too. So that you guys are aware, I have also uh, started up that I told you guys previously that I'm not putting any music on the stream because of all the copyright infringement issues and how things get, get thrown down by Twitch and, and uh, whatnot, but that I do on the side listen to my own Pandora radio station that my wife helped me make, which is... Um, Audio Machine. So if you're interested in listening to Audio Machine, you can go to Pandora for free. Uh, bring that up in the background while you're watching my video. And you can type in Audio Machine, create a channel. And basically all that is, is it's kind of like um, movie score, energetic kind of uh, things. Just like action film type stuff. So uh, that's what I listen to while I'm playing my game, Champions Online. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to bring Razor Shade back in. I haven't done anything with him since uh, the end of our last stream where I finished creating him. So he's still waiting to be set up, keyboards and everything, in <clears throat> in the uh, uh, powerhouse. So I'm going to log in here. All right, so one of the things that happens when you log in to the, to the powerhouse initially is they tell you uh, that um, you can move with the normal movement keys that are available for keyboard players, which are the, the uh, WASD keys, and I don't use those. I don't like them. So what I do first... So I'm going to move over here. All right, so I'm going to let them do the talking whenever they're doing their talking. Uh, but I wanted you to see the way that I set up my keys. Uh, this is obviously personal preference, but if you click on that little C right there, which is the Champions logo for the Champions Hero thing, and you go down to Options, and then I click on Key Binds on these tabs right here. All right. So all of these on this side are this is set up for the for the uh, four little arrow pads that's on everybody's keyboard. I have um, an external keyboard that also has the numpad set up and that's what I like to use for my movement and stuff so if you click on the up it tells you what key you want to hit I hit numpad 8 left and this is strafe left not turn left so I hit 1 right is 3 backwards is 2 jump or fly up I hit 9 fly down I hit 7 turn left is four turn right six I don't do look up or look down and for auto run I hit the numpad five so you can see I've taken all but one of my number keys up if you're if you're counting those uh, one to zero being uh, zero meaning ten or zero being before the one 
The only one that's left off of there is the zero, and I'll show you what I do with that in a minute. For auto follow target, I set that with my uh, divide key or the, the slash that's at the top of your numpad. Uh, I don't toggle the follow target because if you hit uh, uh, escape or um, a movement key, it'll break the auto, the auto follow automatically. Uh, reset camera, I set to the decimal, which is the dot down at the bottom of the numpad right next to the, the zero key. Once I'm done with that, I scroll slowly through this to make sure where the other ones are. Okay, the block key. That's my numpad zero. And you'll see why I do that once we get into the, um, the tutorial and once we get into combat and stuff. Um, I don't mess with my devices, pet commands. Clear current target is minus or subtract. Target next enemy is the plus. Target nearest enemy is enter. So that's all my movement keys that I pretty much want. The only other thing I've got is interact keys. And what I do for those, execute is the right arrow key. Interact cursor is the down arrow key. And interact nearest is the right arrow key. And then show target information, I use the up arrow key. And after that, the stuff down here at the bottom is really kind of, uh, doesn't really matter that much. And I just say, okay. So, what they've done right there, see that little rocket? These two players, the reason why their, their health bar is grayed out is because they're doing um, player versus player. They're fighting one another. Let me go to first person view here and I can let you see this other dude in the back here is winning when he respawns over here that's the respawn point I don't know if they're gonna go again or not so uh, if I hit the decimal that will reset my keypad. Now that I'm over here, I can talk to her. Um, People that send those types of things without talking to me, I decline. Uh, if I don't know who you are or what you're about, I'm not going to. I'm not going to friend thing you. So once you've accepted your mission, you can see this is Plato. Talk to Plato. Okay. Uh, you can read these things up here, interacting with contacts and stuff, if you want. I'll, I'll leave those up briefly. Um, I've read all of those, so I will probably be just exiting those. I'm not going to read them all to you.
All right, now for the cinematics, if you ever want to skip those, and I normally do because I've been through this a thousand times, just hit the space bar, and it'll skip a lot of the cinematics. Not all of them are skippable. There are certain cinematics that when you first enter a new um, event, you're forced to watch them. But that's not one of them. I could have skipped it, but I wanted you guys to be able to see it. So now I'm going to run over here to him. See the question mark on top of his head. Get it close to him. All right, a lot of these guys have the same thing. Every time you, you're near them, they're going to say it over and over again. Which can at times be rather annoying. Alright, so the energy building power is the one key along the top of your keyboard, not at the not over on the numpad, which we've reset. So if I just hit one. No thanks. I don't do that. And you only have to kill a certain number of these things. Like that. And you're good to go. So real quick, like, uh, super group, social. All right, privacy options are down here. Whitelist means you don't want to hear about it. So I'm going to whitelist duels, and I'm going to whitelist Well, that'll do. I'll just whitelist the duels. So that will automatically now, anytime somebody tries to ask me to duel, will automatically decline that for me. So I don't have to continuously do that. So I go up here and talk to this guy again when the question marks over his head. So, if I move forward over here, I select that guy, and I hit that up arrow key, this is the information that he's got. So, it, it, if he's got some kind of a, of a storyline or something that he wanted to put in there, I would be able to read it right here whenever I did info on him. But he obviously didn't.
So, if I if I target this friendly right here and info her, this is what happens when when you pull up somebody that's actually got a story listed on it. Now, though obviously, this is a non-player character, but you can read this little bit of information about her. Um, she's a rock star member of the champions, quite literally. Her career as a superhero began when a group of would-be kidnappers attacked during one of her concerts. Her mutant powers of energy manipulation manifested themselves for the first time that day. Since then, she's dedicated herself to become a powerful superhero while also maintaining her music, uh, music career. Foxbat is one of her biggest fans and continually attempts to court her in spite of her polite refusals. So, right now she flew up there, as you can see. She's fighting. These little green things, if I walk over that, it, if I'm injured, it'll heal me up. The blue ones, watch my energy bar. See how my energy bar jumped? You see how the glowy stopped glowing? That means that I've collected either the briefcase or the plans. I don't remember which. That's the plans. So that Q-Lar up there in the corner is just watching out. Now, previously, when, we, when this game first came around, it used to be you could go out here and there was a side mission where there was a girl in front of that door over there. And you could guide her back to the main tent and it was like a little extra jump that you had. Not jump, but uh, just a little extra fun that you could have done. They got rid of that. It's the blue one. I don't need it. Those little things right there have ranged attacks, unlike the other ones. Once you've completed your mission, go back to the question mark guy. Now you can't really see. I'll move this up a little bit so you can see it. At the bottom, it's got a back and a continue. If I hit back, I don't complete this. So I hit continue. You see a little arrow on top of my head? That points the direction that I'm supposed to be going to complete the mission. That's the next. You can also see. She's playing a sorceress.
So then he has a mission for you. You click on the mission. So then I accept the mission. I can close this out. You see that guy in the back over there with an exclamation point over his point, over his head? It's another mission you can go and get. So once you've gotten your missions, see how these guys are already down? She's back in that corner fighting them. She's a little bit hurt, but not bad enough to stop the... She took a heal. Alright, so we're going to go over here and fight these guys. So that little thing that's above his head, that's when he's doing a charge power, he can cause extra damage when, he's, when you see that. Alright, so back in this corner, This is a side mission. So he says, I was um, reconnoitering the area when an enormous group of Kular attacked me. I managed to drive them off, but during the fight, I dropped a case of weapons I was carrying. I have to go marshal my forces and drive back the alien invaders, so I don't have time to recover the case. As a token of gratitude, if you find the case, you're welcome to keep the weapon inside. I think I dropped it just west of the ambulances. And you can hear uh, Foxbat is a, um, he's a character a lot like uh, Deadpool. He, he can uh, break the third wall. He talks to you as the player. Alright, so the reason why I'm moving around on this guy is not because I'm looking for a better angle for you. <laughs> Although, that's a good thing. Um, when you're fighting with a melee character, your secondary attack oftentimes will injure 
more than just your primary target. If you have a secondary target within range, you see these two guys up here in the, in the top? I'll go up here and take them on. That's only hurting him, but this one hurts both of them. I take them both down. And what that what it is basically is just be smart with the, the placement of your character. If you've got a bad guy behind you and a bad guy in front of you, back up enough where the guy, bad guy behind you uh, is in row in front as well. All right. All right, so he's got the orange exclamation point again. Okay, so once I set that as my primary mission, the little arrow pops up over my head, right? So I know which direction I'm supposed to go. Now, uh, most folks go around the, uh, the uh, street on the outside because they weren't here back in the day when this game first started. And a lot of them don't know that this area back over here there used to be a couple of Qlar that were down here that you could fight on your way by. And this is kind of cutting a taking a little shortcut. So she's my question mark. All right, so all right, let me set this up too. I forgot to do this before we got going here on the on the mission. So down along this uh, bottom right hand corner of my screen, you see where I've got all of these health things that are all set up. Um, as a lifetime member, over a period of time, you build up certain freebies that they give you. Only one of these really matters. The one that matters is the strongest one. So if you look at this one, this brings you to 100% health, 100% energy. These over here, 100% health, no energy. This one, 100% energy over 10 seconds. This one over here, 100% health, no energy, so on and so forth. So what I do, because you're only able, I'm going to discard these, you're only able to use one of these. And once you've used it, it's set on a delayed timer before it'll come back. So even if you were to keep all 
uh, five of those in your bar down here, you'd use one, they'd all black out. All of them go on timer. There's no point in that. So I got. I want to. I go ahead and get rid of that. Also, uh, starter pack. You got another health thing. I'm gonna go ahead and use the resource boost right now. This is a triumphant recovery device, which you click that if you if you're dropped, uh, and it'll bring you back up. It'll res you basically right where you stand. This is the device I need to do my mission, so I'm going to put that in the C4 spot. This is the gun that I got from uh, the fox bat thing we just did where we found it on the side. I'm going to open up this bag. I like to put those up here out of the way. And I'll explain some of this other stuff later. This additional bag here um, is a, it's a veteran bag of holding. I can pick up more gear without having to go sell, basically, is all that is. I could fill this whole thing up and this thing up before I had to go back and sell. Alright, see this big old dude up here? Usually there's a couple of Qlar standing right there at that control panel. I guess somebody's been through here recently. From here I can hold down control 4. Sets up my scanner. So now I finish that one. I don't necessarily need to fight these guys unless they come at me, but what the heck, right? We're in a tutorial. Control 4. Or optionally, you can just click on the, the box if you want to use your mouse. I just... Alright, that's the big guy right there. So what I'm going to do is get behind the little guy and egg on the big guy. You see how he's got a energy thing that pushes me back. But the way I line those two guys up, it's uh, like it's a two for one. So you take the guy to one side. Now, back in that corner over there, you used to be able to save another superhero that they had. Um, I can't remember his name. He's their speedster. I'll go over here and show you where where it was. It's gone now, I'm pretty sure, but Yeah, it's gone. See these big guys here? Alright, right here on top of these roots, there used to be a cage. And uh, their super speed guy, I want to say Kinetics or something like that, he was in there. And uh, you could save him as kind of a bonus mission, bonus side mission. They also used to have a 
cat carrier that you could find in the combat zone. And you were able to, to uh, save the cat. But they took that out of the tutorial as well. So, F. So I'm not going to accept that next mission yet. If you look down here on the on the the right side of my screen over here, you can see that the the uh, Battle of Ironclad, they have they're they're in the process of defending the cannon. So they're about to finish the Battle of Ironclad. I'm not going to I'm not going to accept that yet. I'm going to wait until that ends. Philippe Maru. Anybody ever watched the island of Dr. Moreau? That's kind of the idea that they did here. Should be gone now. So if I go back over here, yeah, 20 minutes till reset, full metal jacket. It is true that you can leave the mission at any time, but if you leave the mission, your points go down and the other people's points go up based on the number of kills that you've done. So what you want to do is try to catch the mission when it's first starting out. Also, like I do, always try to find the angle where your shots are hurting multiples of creatures. In that way, See how all these guys are standing in a row? Those little outlines that you see appear on that guy, those are because I'm fighting with a sword and I have an ability called bleeding, which means when I hit this dude, see the little outlines there? All right, collect parts. So now if I come over here, I've collected one case of parts. Once we collect the fourth case of parts, now 
We're back to fighting again. Run right into the thick of them when you're the when you're the little melee fighter. It makes for better points. Try not to be followed or follow anybody. Try to be off on your own someplace. It's easier to get. Uh, the guys that are up high will come down if you threaten them. The big guys are worth more points than the little guys. And lots of little guys in a row like this. Always a bonus. See the little question mark? A lot of times they'll put, turn into whatever you wanted. Whatever you needed, I should say. Alright. So you see how they took off? If you look at the points there, Razor Shade, that's me, or us, I should say. 2,044 points. Crest of Destruction, 433. Why? Because I was right in there. had nothing to do with me being a better fighter or more powerful or anything like that. We're all the same level at this point. It's tutorial. They don't even let you get any stronger than the other guys. All that had to do with is me being smart about my attacks. So you can see that they fight these Qlar, and they'll they'll keep coming. So you could stand out there and keep fighting them if you wanted to. But I so that's what that is, but. Even if you don't, you'll still get the same levels. You just won't get the same uh, rewards at the end. But uh, Mission Warning, Inner Champions HQ. Hopefully it'll be a little less loud in there. I know that... Now technically, you also don't have to fight all these guys... But me, I don't like leaving them behind me like that. There's a glitch there. You see those guys, the dead guys kept coming up. They kept re uh, reviving, but then not actually being there. I don't like leaving the guys behind me because when you do, there's always the chance that they will coming in the middle of this when you're hurt now remember the 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 number one power set that you're that I'm clicking here is my energy builder with that see they're doing it too they get up and then they're gonna fall dead again And actually, you have all the time you want. I could just stand here and he'd sit there and wave at me. <laughs> but.
razor shade. You know, they don't use your name in there because they couldn't record everybody. They don't know what our old names we're going to create. But now, you're following Defender. Alright, so right here, see that mark that's showing up on there? You do not want to be on that. things here. I just used one of my heels. Alright, these robots that you see here are actually Dr. Destroyers. Uh, they're called Destroids, as you can see. You read the white underneath the name, but um, let's launch Ironclad. This area over here used to be an open hallway that got, went back, and there was uh, there was four of those that you had to disarm before you could come in here, but they cut that down. I don't mind them doing that. He's going to go around the table. Glowy! Late much? So, when you pop back, you might be tempted to turn around when, when it comes in, but if you start to turn, there's a glitch in the system, and when you show up back in the powerhouse, you'll be spinning to whichever direction you tried to turn around, and it's hard to get it to quit. So, talk to Plato. So, you can see over there where the question mark is, that's Headmistress Rowan. So, that's right here. Once you step on this thing, they say go to main lobby. You can just hit the F key or I have the interact arrows set up or whatever. You can do any one of those. Now, the tutorial part is slow going because 
I'll have about 30 of those things pop up now. Shigrand. So Grand is a villain in the deserts. I wonder if Shigron bothered. Nope. See where it says loading there? That's what you get when somebody doesn't put anything in there. Like if any one of them were to click on me and, and hit info, what they would see, this is the C button, which is the costume, but you can see right over here under description, more to come. At least something's there, right? I haven't made a decision what I'm going to do with him yet because we just created him last week and I hadn't really planned on this character beforehand. So you want to talk to the head trainer. Alright. Uh, we're going to train up before we do these videos. These videos are annoying and I usually skip them. But I'm going to let you guys watch them on my stream and then you can skip them on uh, when you go in <laughs> but for purchasing powers one of the first things that you need to do when you're getting your your uh, power set is come up with some form of ranged ability or block ability something that helps you uh, expand your usefulness I usually go with the range thing. You can see here they have a shuriken thing that, that you can throw. There's also a chained kunai. Now, the the bonus to the chained kunai is if you hit them, you can yank them towards you and then continue fighting. So if someone tries to run or something of that nature, you can use that. I typically stick with that because if, they're, if they run away from you without trying to attack you and they're a bad guy and you want to get them and you throw your your star at them, as soon as you hit them, they'll turn around and engage you anyway. So you don't have to pull them back at you. And there's other things that you can do too. There's a variety of different lunges and things, the cut down. Um, as you can, I don't know, if, can you, yeah, you can probably see that. Um, strike your foe from afar. Basically, you lunge forward, strike, and they get rooted wherever they are. But um, there's a smoke bomb. That's the, you, you throw down the smoke and you appear next to the enemy and attack, which works good if you're doing martial arts. Uh, single blade, eh, it doesn't look as good, to me anyway. Thunderbolt lunge, also a martial arts thing. And then uh, laughing zephyr, I don't even know what that is. I've never had that one. It is martial arts. Causes you to lunge backwards to put distance between you and your foe. Ah, so that's if you're trying to get out of the fray. Uh, smoke bomb will defuse things. Um, power buffs and whatnot that are down there. But for my first one, I'm going to take the shuriken. You select power. Now for travel powers, again, because not only am I a, a, a veteran and a, a lifetime membership, but also I have purchased a bunch of these from the store so I can use them whenever I want on any character, I have a lot more selection than the free game will. Uh, all of these will look like this. See these grayed out ones down here? When you first log in, if it's your first time on Champions Online, they're all going to look like this. But you can pick any one of these flight things if you want. Obviously, this guy's not much of a flyer. Uh, flight is kind of one of my go-to abilities. I like it a lot. Super speed, you can have a uh, fast runner, you know, the flash or quicksilver type thing. Light speed, mock speed, it's all the same thing. It's just the different effects that they can have on them. Um, athletics and acrobatics are basically the same. There's a different uh, run animani uh, a uh, animation for each one of those. But other than that, they look pretty much the same. And acrobatics would very much fit this character, but you're not able to get around as well as you can't with some of the other travel powers. Uh, super jump, um, that's kind of Hulk leaping type thing. You know, you can leap great distances and land. 
that would work okay for this guy being a martial artist, but uh, more the the um, acrobatics leap is better for that. The super jump is a little extreme, but I you know if you watch the old kung fu movies, they do that all the time there. Uh, tunneling uh, digs down into the ground and goes underneath and can get past people and stuff. Swinging, he fires this gun and shoots this cable up that connects to absolutely nothing in the air and you swing on this cable and you can move through areas that don't even have buildings because comic book logic. Now we get to the good stuff. Here's the teleportation. So uh, Ninja Vanish keeps you on the ground but lets you run at a little faster speed than your normal run. And when you hit the smoke bombs, like you smoke bomb and then you take off running across the ground. Uh, it's it's similar to in speed to the acrobatics, which is why I'm not really that interested in that one. Ninja Leaves is the same thing. Instead of a smoke bomb, leaves perf up out of the ground. Uh, I'm just going to use the basic teleportation for mine, and I'll show you what that does once we're finished with these last couple things. So primary super stat with this guy because he is swords. I'm thinking dexterity. Uh, that boosts your chance for critical hit effects. It's also good if you're doing stealth uh, things, which we might be getting later on in our powers and things of that.